All right, I'm going to be walking you through how to set up a calendar event that is connected to the scheduling feature in Squarespace to receive payment and a form collection for each attendee. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna start in the scheduler. And this is where we're going to create the event. So scheduler is gonna open. We're gonna come down here and hit appointment types. And we're gonna do a new type of group class because this is not a service of a one-on-one -on -one or small group. This is going to be a group class that we will have available. And I have the notes right here. It's going to be called Funky Junk Journals. And then the duration we'll put for an hour. It starts at 7 p.m., but we'll put it for an hour. And then the price, we will add a price of $25 uh, for now. And then we actually do have uh, a picture that we can add. We'll upload that. It will be a public event. It is a class or group with a max number, we'll say 25. And clients must sign up for the time that it is offered. So here we'll hit create event type. And then the next thing that we'll need to do uh oh, our image did not upload. All right, we'll, we'll go back to that. We're gonna go back. So here we are, Funky Junk Journals. We're gonna click Offer. And then this is where we're going to pick the date and time. So April 22nd at 7 p.m. We're gonna hit Save. And this will enable our class. So successfully added funky junk journals uh, by me, April 22nd, 7 p.m. Awesome. So the next thing that we need to do is set up a form. So we're going to click view all forms. I'm going to create a new one. And I'm going to label it event form, assuming that each event will collect the same exact information. So name, email, and how many participating. So the first one will be name, required, email, we'll hit required, and number of attendees required. We're going to save the form. Right here, it'll show you which, it'll show you all of your events that are upcoming. So right now, the Spring Spirals and New Beginnings is coming up, which is set for March 20th, and then Funky Junk Journal. So if you wanted it for both events, you would click, you'd check both events, and then if you had more events that are listed, you would click that checkbox for each of them. But if you want it just specifically for that event, so if you're collecting different information for different types of events, you could essentially make this the Funky Junk Journal's event form. That's one way you could do it if you had very hyper-specific questions because in this situation, this is art events. So maybe if certain types of art mediums are needed, paint, watercolor, acrylic, or <clears throat> excuse me, bring your own canvas or sketchbook or whatever, whatever that looks like for whatever the event is, you can get very specific having a checkbox or list or yes or no. You could upload a file. Um, there's a lot of things that you can do with it. But for right now, we'll keep it with the junk journals. We'll hit save. Perfect, we're saved here. So what I'm gonna do now, so I'm gonna come over to the scheduling page link and I'm gonna click this drop down, and pick classes. And what I want to do here, so this is the exact link for this class only. But what I wanna do is I wanna change the name to be more specific. So Funky Junk Journals, we'll hit save and I'm gonna copy this link now. We have our class set up. If we go to our appointment calendar, it should show up here. Nope, it's gonna be in the calendar. Um, sorry about that, availability. Here we are, funky junk journals, class offered at specific times. So we'd have to, it's showing this upcoming week, so we'd have to jump forward to April, but it will show up on that calendar. I'm gonna show you where it's gonna show up. So if we go back to scheduler, out of the scheduler completely, 
we're going to go to our home, we're going to go to our calendar page that we made. So right here for events, we're going to add the event, hit the plus, event title, funky junk journals, the date and time, which was April 22nd at 7 p.m. Slide that over, 7 p.m. Save. Now this is the event description here. We're gonna to get to that in just a second because I have something copied on my clipboard. I'm gonna hit the plus and this is where we're going to add the scheduler block. So we're gonna enter this in, appointment scheduling. And I'm gonna hit custom link because this is an event page for our Funky Junk Journals. I'm gonna hit paste on that scheduling page link. I'm going to hit apply. And now it gives you the, the ability to select the Funky Junk Journals, which I'll show you here when we test it. But right now I wanna add our information here. So we have the title, when the event is going to take place. Now it's it defaulted to 925 and I'm going to show you here just in a second where we can uh, change that if we need to. So I just want to add a line here just to break it up and then maybe we'll hit register below and we'll change the header. Okay so when when you go to hit done you can save it which will make it a draft you can publish it or you can schedule when you want it to be viewed on the site. So I'm gonna hit publish now. And oops, it is 9.25, that is not when the event ends. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this three dots here, hit settings. It's gonna open up a new looking window, date and time. Right here is the event start and the event end is here. So let's just say it ends at eight o'clock. We'll hit back, status is published. You can do tags and categories just like you're blogging. So if you want this event to be found on the internet, the more keywords that you put in there, the more visible it could be. You can add comments if you'd like people to comment. Down here on options, this is where you're going to add an image. So I'm going to add that funky junk journals image here. Right now the event URL looks great. Something you could always do is add the date if you wanted to. Right now it says that the author is me. If you hit this, you can toggle and select a new author. Um, and then as f if we keep going down, SEO, this is how it will show in Google and social image. If you wanted a specific image to show and you're sharing the link on social media, that's where this would go and this is how it would look. You can automatically connect a social media account if you wanna push it to it. And then if you have a location, um, and it's not online, this is where you would add the location for it to show up. So I'm gonna hit save. I'm gonna go back to our events page and we're gonna test it here. So we've got, here it is, Funky Junk Journals. This is where you'd select it and you would hit continue. And then this is where the name, event form, you'd complete the appointment. Now, if you want to take payment at the time of booking, let's jump back over here to the scheduler and the next step that you will have to take is the payment settings. So this is different than collecting payment settings in your website if you had a shop feature. So you would come over here and, and select which pay payment type. Um, you could connect your Stripe here, your Square here. If you hit PayPal, it's going to prompt you to log in. And then it'll give you some more options here. So when clients schedule an appointment, you can require deposit, full payment, payment is optional don't allow. Um, it's different for every appointment type. If It just depends on you know what, what you prefer to have on the site. So down here, PayPal settings, if you put your email, um, it will direct them to PayPal to complete the transaction for whatever you determine here. So that will be the only step that you will uh, need to do in order to collect that payment. Now when you get when you get an event scheduled, it will trigger to your email, whatever email is set up with your Squarespace site. And that's how you can start uh, collecting those forms and the information on the people that are signing up for your event.